The Labour leader Keir Starmer has found a new loophole in order to get out of the beer gate scandal and frankly, I find it disgusting. Yeah, he's finally done it. Keir Starmer held a live press conference earlier today and uh, you know, he doubled down. I've not broken any rules. And he did two things, which were quite very, very subtle, but very important. Uh, actually, thanks to the uh, boys at the uh, Guido that pointed out this story. For those people who think that Keir Starmer has not learned anything from his master and teacher, uh, Tony Blair, think again, because he's using the same tactic as Blair used uh, during the cash for honors uh, scandal first things first i'm going to show you a short clip of um starmer doubling down then i'm going to tell you exactly how he's going to get away with the whole thing but i did it because we followed the rules the idea that i would then casually break those rules is wrong and frankly i don't believe those accusing me believe it themselves really Okay, that might have meant something until we found out that uh, Durham Police, compared to as opposed to the Met in London, uh, when they find uh, Boris Johnson, Rishi, and many other staffers in Downing Street, um, it's highly unlikely for the Durham Police to uh, do a fixed uh, penalty notice for you know the, 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 something that's happened ages ago, because it's in the past. So they might say that yeah, he broke the rules, the regulations. But they might not actually even send him uh, the fixed penalty notice. Sort of similar situation with uh, Dominic Cummings. And this is why it's important because of the next thing he said. But if the police decide to issue me with a fixed penalty notice, I would, of course, do the right thing and step down. Really? So the words matter. He said only if they issue me a fixed penalty notice. Not even if they say, um, Keir, you broke the rules. Because that should be the line. But no, 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 no. He's putting all the pressure on Durham police and said, well, I hope that you make the right decisions. You know, if, you, if you, I dare you to find me. Because he knows that they're not going to do it because of, you know, unlikely because of the, the historic cases. So he now thinks that, you know, I, if I just say that I, I will only resign if they issue me the fixed penalty notice, that is, to be fair, smart, but disgusting. It's a similar tactic that uh, Tony Blair used, as I said earlier, back in 2007, when you had the, the Cash for Honours uh, scandal, um, and, you know, on the investigations and the, you know, the establishment, the top of the uh, political class, and, uh, of, of course, Blair and everybody were like, well, if, if obviously I'm cautioned, you know, if, if, if I'm caught, then I would resign. You put all the pressure... As Prime Minister, for example, at the time, and now leader of the opposition, an elite, top of the top of the class, put the pressure on the police and see what happens. This is the tactic that they're using. It's the same thing. But they, 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 the biggest difference is that Starmer knows that the Durham police would not, unlikely that they would issue a fixed penalty notice for something that happened you know, a year ago. And by the way, that's a problem because that shows the difference between the Met in London and the police in Durham. It should not really, it should be slightly more equal because Starmer should technically resign even if he doesn't get the notice as long as they say he broke the rules. Do you know why? Not because we want him to follow the rules because the rules were beautiful. No, the rules were weird. Nobody liked them. Nobody followed them, right? The problem we have with him is that he's a hypocrite and he made a big deal out of party gate and cake gate and suitcase of booze gate. Now it's his turn. Do it. Face the music, Keir Starmer. Thanks again, guys, for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I'm Maya Tusi, and we are the media.